Hi everybody. Um, I thought I'd not. I haven't changed clothes. This is a continuation from the previous one, but I split the vlog into two separate vlogs. I thought I'd let you see some of the books that I have. Now, one of the problems with vlogging and with YouTube and with Instagram is I find I tend not to look at much, look at my books as much as I used to, but sometimes. Um, I find that they are they have a lot of information that is very handy and some of these books I've had when that since I about 30 odd years because I was doing a fashion course some of them are even older than that when I was about in my 20s one of the things that made me want to sew was a lady called Anne Ladbury and she was your TV's um, on, t on British TV she was the, the guru of sewing and she used to have a program where probably once a week for at least 12 weeks she showed you how to sew and she showed you the techniques and I absolutely loved watching Anne Ladbury when she was doing her sewing and um, she brought a book out and it was called Sewing. I told you the basics of sewing, sewing machine, pressing hands, sewing seams, hems, binding, zips, perfect dressmaking fitting and altering, sewing for the home and decorative sewing and repairs, machine faults. She talked about how fibres and fabrics developed, how to press, uh, continuing with pressing, hand sewing, machine stitching and she told you all about tensions and turning corners, seams, all the different seams, bindings, quick method binding, perfect dressmaking. Let me go back through. And then this was smocking, and I always used to like to do smocking, embroidery, how to cover cushions, how to do the uh, furniture, cover furniture, um, bed linen, curtains. That was the home one, fitting and altering and uh, lining things, pockets, collars, oh and I've got a little, turn it right, look I've done a little drawing, this is a very old drawing, turn it right way and press it, press it inside out, so I was showing myself how to do a, a stand up mandarin colour I think it was, um, yolks, Sleeves, all how to set sleeves and, and so on, sleeve openings and cuffs, waists, again waist shaping, and so it goes on. And I just I love this book. And every night, because we didn't have computers, every night when I went to bed, I would sit there was two books that I used to sit and read from cover to cover. One was this book. Uh, and I would read it, reread it, reread it, read it again, read it, see if I'd missed anything. And the other one was the Reader's Digest DIY book because I absolutely loved DIY. And I knew I read it from cover to cover. It had projects on one side and proceed and, and how to how to do it on the other side. So it how it told you how to do joints and how to fix a, a light switch and so on. And I used to sit and read both books alternately every night for about a good hour, each one. And I loved this book. I thought it was very I thought it was well put together. So then, because Anne Ladbury, Ladbury stood out in that time, she also made another book, and this other book was called Fabrics. It's a little book, and I've never, never got rid of this one. Uh, there she is, there's the young Anne Ladbury again. And um, it says here, it's like a dictionary of fabrics, and it told you how to choose fabrics, choose interfacings, press uh, fibres, pressing, uh, knit, knits, and then it told you um, dyeing and printing, finishes, care of textiles. Then there's an A to Z of fabrics, which I always used to find very handy. And then sewing equipment and haberdashery. The A to Z of fabrics used to tell you things like gabardine. And it would tell you whether it was waterproof, whether you could make it as a coat or trousers, and whether it could be pressed. And... Um, she would actually describe every fabric and, and the width of the fabric, uh, how it handled, 
what the thread was, what kind of thread you should use, what size needle you should use, how to press it, to, how to wash it and how to, um, how to look after it. It was a fount of knowledge for me and I would sit and read this from cover to cover. So that was the Anne Fabrics book by Anne Ladbury. And now another old book that I got was So Simple. And that was that. This is uh, it was from the, I actually got our school was selling the, the school I taught at was the high school I taught at was selling their books and I bought it. I think I bought it for about ten pence. Do you remember I said that my mother always said wear stripes to make you thinner? If you do it that way, it makes your bottom fatter. And it basically told you about fashion, about what things, how fashion in you. It described the terms and um, choosing and using a pattern, hems, very similar to Anne Ladbury's, gaudies and gussets, fastenings, darts, cuffs, collars, buttonholes, buttons, binding and piping, order of making a garment, stitches and threads, care and repair of clothes, trimming and decoration, pressing and ironing, trousers, a special case. And again, a good nighttime read for me, it's getting a bit well worn now, that was just called English Sewing Limited. Then uh, there are three books here that I had when I was doing my fashion design course. Uh, I actually had another one which was for children but I, I've saw, since sold that. I regret selling it but uh, never mind. This one is Metric Pattern Cutting by Winifred Aldrich and she was the pattern cutting guru from the 70s. She was a lecturer at Loughborough College of Art and Design but she, uh, she told you how to do a ba basic block you base how to how to make a basic block from your own measurements how to uh, use that basic block to move the darts round so you could have your darts in different positions on your garments how to make a basic skirt block and move the darts round again then she would show you how to co how to compensate for certain thick faults on your sleeves and how to um, deal with sloping backs and so like such for you know like a, if you gathered if you got gathers there how to deal with them by raising uh, say for example number 10 is where you've got rushing there it tells you to raise your shoulder seam there number 11 where's number 11 11's where you've got it pulling on the arm arm there 11 tells you to open your arm side out arm your armhole out a bit so I found this is very useful and a lot of people have made books for using her, using her ideas and then she goes on to tell you how to make different skirts so you can have skirts that have got a pleat in and she tells you how to add that piece in to make a pleat, she tells you how to do pleated skirts, um, circular skirts. These are all the things that in patterns you would buy in patterns, but she's telling you how to do them. A bit like Sherford Designs, but it's on paper and she was the one in England that everybody uh, liked following. Uh, drawings, the drawings of the, of, I just, we thought they were dead trendy, these drawings, where the, the body was in such a way. And she showed you how to do darts, front and back and so on. Um, I'll flick through the rest so you can see. Oh, the book, how much did the book cost at the time? It cost £5.50 but different trousers, arms, how to do coat designs to uh, make the yokes and uh, front button fronts and basically it was a fantastic book to follow when we were doing our own designs and we wanted to do certain shapes for example how to get that kind of a collar and she showed you how to do it there. Um, Great book, Winifred Aldrich, Metric Pattern Cutting. The other one that you had was something like Metric Pattern Cutting for Children. But as, I, as I, my children grew up, I thought I didn't need it. A similar one was 
a one by Lady Cord and Natalie Bray and hers was dress pattern designing and the first one is uh, the basic principles of cut and fit and that's very similar uh, she she did very similar things a bit more wordy but the same sort of thing where she tells you how to adjust patterns I like this book but I didn't find it half as good as the Winifred Aldrich one another good book I think I didn't I think we refer to that less often than we did to the Winifred Aldrich one and she also did another one which is a bit more detailed which is like the Winifred Aldrich uh, one where it's Natalie Bray more dress pattern designing and here she goes into a bit more detail with I think she got a she started to go let's do it that way she started to go into a bit more detail showing you how you can change um, the shape of your sleeves how you can add sleeves to your shoulders and make a kimono type sleeve and she goes into telling you how to do a little gaudy into the sleeve armpit again very helpful book referred to sometimes if I couldn't find it in the uh, Winifred Aldrich one but it's a, a good book to go for so those are two books if, you like, if you're into doing your own designing of patterns, those are two books I would go for. I would highly recommend that one. Whether it's still available or not, I don't know. You can sometimes get them on Amazon because some people still sell them. They're selling their old books. Um, the next one I got free last year and I can't remember what it was with. It was, I'd subscribed to something and they sent me this as a free book. I think it was to sew today. And they sent me this uh, book and I, I love it. Uh, very similar to the other ones. Tells you all about sewing, about how to add binding, how to, anything you want to know, it's there in pictures. More pictures in this, lovely photographs to show you what to do. And I think photographs can tell, you know, they can help much better than words can uh, as my as i'd always said when i used to teach keep it simple and people will understand it better so that one is a really good book I'm, i i would highly recommend that one to you um pleats and tucks brightly colored and interesting right from start to the end that one is complete dressmaking essential skills and techniques for beginners sorry it's there the lights reflecting and it's by jules fallon really good book um these two i got at barter books up in northumland they have a second hand bookshop and when we were up on our holidays last year i think it was I bought these two books. I think I only got them. What did I get them for? £6.60 it was. It's actually part of a series, but these were just the first two. And this one was called, it's a singer, singer sewing lingerie. Well, there's a change of clothes because I had recorded this next bit previously, but the camera was starting to go blurry. And when I was showing it, when I replayed it back, I could see that all of the uh, images just you couldn't really see so this is actually probably about a month later hair is slightly different in color again uh, I was going to put my glasses on but they're old glasses and they reflect with the camera so I thought no I'm not going to put them on I like them mind then my husband said you've got a new pair of glasses and I said no I had these glasses long before I met you but I like them so much, but I said, I can see very well there, but I can't see a thing this way. <laughs> so we shall not wear them. I probably need some new lenses in them. Right, um, there are four books left that I haven't told you about. One of them is called, it's by Singer Sewing Machines. And I got these two books. There's actually two books that I got here last in the summer when we were up in uh, Northumberland we visited Barter Books which is one of I think it's either the biggest or the second biggest second-hand bookshop in the United Kingdom well worth a visit they have a coffee shop lovely coffee shop they have uh, a little toy train that goes around at the top where you pay to book for your books there's a children's section there's history there's 
rare books there's everything there if you want to go and see it it's really really nice it's worth you know if you're traveling up that way it's worth an afternoon in the it, you know sitting there reading the books um and they have a, a craft section never very much in i think as fast as they come in they must go out so anyway this these are two books that i picked up and they're actually, if I remember rightly, they're very old ones, but I remember that they're, brought, they're by Singer Sewing Machine. And I vaguely recall Singer bringing out a whole encyclopedia of them. But, and they're not numbered, but um, they are, these are two of them. And I got them from Barter Books for £6.60. 5 60 and 6 60 The first one is called Sewing Lingerie. And... Uh, what I do is I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what it's like page by page. It's got a glossy, uh, a glossy page so I am getting a bit of reflection with it. But I'll try and take you through, let you see the contents. I'm not going to do much talking on this section. And then very nice colourful pictures, introduction, you getting started, um, sewing lingerie, measuring yourself, selecting patterns, measuring the fabrics that you use, the laces that you can use, selecting elastics so it gives you a guide on what elastics to use basic sewing technique so then it tells you how to go about sewing with it sewing sewing the uh, negligee or the underwear or the lingerie um full of detail sewing seams how to do the seams it's very helpful there probably may maybe some changes i think here there may be changes that they do these days that you don't do that you didn't do that you did in those days that you don't do now but still a traditional way of sewing so it's quite probably worth looking at edge finishes how you can finish with satin binding and how you can do this kind of finish that's a pico edge finish with a white with or without a contrasting trim um, then it talks about it tells you how to do the pico edge finish um, for those of you who are interested there you go it's actually a zigzag then edge stitched finishes bound edge finishes and it tells talks you through how to do the bound edges lace trimmed bound edge finishes so it talks you how to do through how to do that applying lace and it talks you through how to apply the lace and um, trimming it back camisoles how to mitre lace edgings on an outside corner it's it's very very detailed lots of nice pictures lots of uh, examples of how to do it and if you're into doing lingerie that's it's a it's a really nice book to try and seek out if you can it tells you how to do petticoats um, and one with a nice lace effect on it um, one with a split down the side those kind of petticoats that are full the full slips and then it tells you how to uh, go about how to adjust a chemise style bodice for a full bust so it actually caters for wee bigger lip busted ladies as well um, straps for four it tells you how to make the straps and uh, it's really a lovely book I really like this book I haven't really a, a few of these books I still haven't looked at them so I think at night, when I go to bed I ought to take one to bed and have a good look at it and see if I can uh, just just read it and reread it and and pick up some ideas I'll flick through backwards for you
is the Singer Sewing Nursery book. Right, the second book is Singer 101 Sewing Secrets. I won't go into too much detail with this, but it's basically the art of copying things, trade secrets, designer techniques, just for fun. And here's one here, sewing room secrets. So I'm going to flick from the back to the front because it's easier to do it that way for me. Now then, the penultimate book is one that I just bought recently, uh, I can't remember, I think I bought it about April or May, and it's called The Complete Photo Guide to Perfect Fitting. And this is an ideal book for we ladies who are um, slightly larger, who need, or not necessarily larger, you can have a curvature in the back, you could be slim with a problem with your fitting on your hips or have a long a long waist or anything. And this is the guide to perfect fitting. Again, I'll go I'll show you the contents first and then um contents it go does laying the foundation, pattern and fitting basics, framework for fitting, fundamentals of fitting muslins, fundamentals of altering patterns. Developing your ability, the process of fitting garments, fitting solutions for body types, fitting pants. Oh, that's a good one for most of us ladies. Uh, going to the next level, correcting pattern elements, get creative. And then it tells you about the author. Um, how much did it cost? It cost $16.99 in the UK, $24.99 in the US. It tells you a bit about an introduction about fitting and then look at that it's it's showing you how we have different bodies and how as you get older you need to change the adjustments um, a little bit about the history where's my waist 
and a bit about measurements um, the tools that you may need and then it starts telling you about the problems that you may have like bit you need to uh, you got a bit too much fabric there the lying of your shirts and things and look at this it tells you that it's really good it has lots of pictures showing you how to adjust them um, again with patterns fitting tips trousers telling you how to do the best muslin for your trousers adjustments on your back and the front seams assessing your fit altering patterns telling you how to adjust the patterns and um, cater for larger busts blending your seams making tucks Walking patterns with darts, controlling patterns with built-in ease. It's all very, very uh, explanatory, very detailed, lots of pictures, lots of things going on. But for those of you who find it a bit difficult trying to understand how to adjust patterns, it's very helpful. Then this is telling you how to adjust your skirts. And this is a problem that I sometimes have. I end up with a sway back and it tells you how to correct it. Um, how to correct gaping, gaping seams. Um, how to cater for a larger bust. And add extra, extra, more extra fabric in your seams. These are all issues that we larger ladies have and that sadly, you know, when we get these patterns once upon a time we could just get them out and cut them up, lay them out in the fabric, cut them up and fit it beautifully but nowadays we've got to be doubly uh, talented in that we've got to be able to fit them around our our body that has um, bumps and bulges that they never used to have and I think this is a it's a good book it's not something I've picked up very much lately uh, I will do uh, you know just looking to see how I can adjust certain things this is what the one thing that I, I like about current sewing is that they tell you to try it with the muslin first which we never did in years gone by we did do muslins but at, when we made garments we sometimes just cut it straight out and um, so uh, I think this is quite good in that it teaches you to make a muslin first out of cheap fabric. So probably all that useless stash that you have, the stuff that you wouldn't dare be seen in, that you don't really want to throw away because you don't want to, you, you, well you will waste it because if you make a muslin you are wasting it. But sometimes it's a good way to use your, that fabric and make it up um, as a muslin. So there you go ladies, that's perfect fitting. This is the last book. It is the Palmer Pletch Complete Guide to Fitting. So great clothes for everybody, fit any fashion pattern by Patty Palmer and Marta Alto. I, they, I saw this advertised in uh, June, I think it was, 2018, this year. And um, I had to order it because it wasn't being published until a month ago I think it is it's now October I think I got it about September uh, it's an American company obviously those of you who know it cost uh, $34.95 I think I paid about £28 for it but oh I, uh, it's it's wonderful if you know uh, how the part if you know the Palmer Pletch, Pletch fitting it's really good. It basically uses uh, Marta Alto for most of the patterns because she's a bigger lady. And it shows you how you can... Uh, this is basically an introduction. What is that? Um.
It's so good to read and whilst the YouTube videos can show you quite a lot you've got this encyclopedia this this book that's going to help you all the time so that one yes I would definitely say go for that one I would say definitely go for either one of those two